What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm rotating things around and updating some stuff in the studio here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about iOS 15.6 instead of 16, cause I know y'all probably gonna get bored of the coverage and 15.6 is already in release candidate build. So I'll briefly talk about it, its stability over the last, I started running it Friday morning and then another release build came out at about one o'clock as y'all saw if you are on the Discord server or if you're not following me on Twitter, I do post the updates of the build numbers and all that nice lovely stuff. But um, so that came out and I was running it and I wanna talk about like battery life across both builds and other fun stuff. I don't know why it was showing two, three things, but regardless of the fact, here we go. First thing I really wanna talk about is my battery health on this 13 Pro Max. I went on a vacation trip and where I was, the service was so weak that it actually caused battery health to degrade. But when I connect this phone to my Mac right over here, right over here, this Mac with a tool called Coconut Battery, I do not have a screenshot because I haven't connected it since um, Wednesday morning. And it showed that I had 99% battery health. But once again, settings is miscalculating. Again, the lowest I was Tuesday night was 98.3% battery health, which was 98% at around um, 9 o'clock at night. But I had like 30% of actual battery. So we go back into here. You can see my screen on. It's screen off time. I'll turn on voiceover. voiceover on. I'll turn it down Set a little bit. Screen on. Eight hours. 49 minutes. So over the last 24 hours, eight hours. Nope. Screen on. Eight hours. 49 minutes. Eight hours, 49 minutes of screen on time. Screen off. 45 minutes. Screen off. 45 minutes. Selected. Last 24 hours. Last 10 days. So on 15.5, I had some battery draining. 87% battery use. 97% battery use. On um, uh, Thursday. And the battery life here, you can see. Usage, usage, 10 hours, 2 minutes, screen on 8 hours, 25 minutes, screen off 1 hour, 37 minutes. So it pushed a lot, but then the next day. 8% battery, battery use at 89% battery, 89% battery, 89% battery usage, July 15th. July 15th, which was Friday, it used 89%. Usage, 11 hours, usage, usage, screen on, usage, usage, 11 hours. Three minutes. So you can see my screen time increased to 11 over just right over 11 hours. Screen on 10 hours, 37 minutes. And my screen on time shot up to 10 hours, 32 minutes. Screen off 26 minutes, July 15th. So there you go. It definitely improved battery life wise. Stability, bugs. I have not ran across any bugs. Running both of these SIM cards, signal has been pretty good. Um, I cannot complain about 15.6. And um, it's it's ready for the public. It definitely is an RC uh, version, and I'm excited for it to be in the public hands. So iOS 15.6 is a go. Should you download if you're running 15.5? It's stable as a rock. It should be out Monday through Monday the earliest or Wednesday the latest. And um, I say go ahead download without regrets there might be some bugs for some people but um if for me i did a full reinstall because i jumped to the release candidate both release candidates to see how it performs and it's doing good so thank you all so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this break from ios 16 coverage see y'all later